Lions TV, full time from Bramall Lane via my parents' front room. It finishes Sheffield United 1, Millwall 2. Now that is fucking entertainment. We rolled our luck, chiffled down to 10 men, conceded a penalty and a last minute blockbuster from Juicy Jake Cooper. He's come under some criticism. Three changes were made for the team. That loss at home against Luton. Two of them were false. Danny Mack injured, maybe. Ryan Leonard comes in at right back. Murray Wallace didn't travel. Scott Malone come back in. And a big talking point for me was Tom Bradshaw replacing Benic Afobe. But he stuck with the same central midfielders. And I said, if he sticks with Savile and Evans in centre midfield, it's not even worth getting on the team bus. So it shows you what I know. I thought Savile had a very good game, by the way. Good performances and bad uh, just listen, it had absolutely everything, didn't it? We started the game well, and we took the lead, deservedly so. And we got what we don't ever get is a little bit of luck. Jeb Wallace, whose deliveries weren't right all night, to be fair. Uh, I don't know what he was aiming for, but there was no middle players in the box. Goes over everyone, goes over the goalkeeper, flies into the top corner. Very similar to the goal Norton Forest scored against us at the City Ground. And after that, I thought we was the better side of the first half. I thought we um, broke well and with pace. When we got the opportunity, however, the three times we did get the chance to break for one-on-ones, um, we sort of messed up our final ball and didn't make the right decisions and the moves broke down. But I thought we was cruising. I thought we was in control. Bolkowski rarely troubled other than a great save from a goal drink, which he forces wide to keep us in the lead at 1-0. And then right on half-time, we get caught out by a shit short corner. I don't know what Scott Malone was saying afterwards to other players. Whether he's saying, why didn't anyone come out there and help me? But for me... And we discussed it on the live stream. Thanks to everyone who tuned into the live streams, by the way. It was a mixed bag on the live stream. Was it or wasn't it a penalty? For me, it was a stonewall penalty. And it was converted by Billy Sharp, who sent Balkowski the wrong way. After that, in the second half, I would have took 1-1 before the game. I definitely would have took 1-1 um, You know, at that point. I definitely still would have took 1-1 when Sheffield United were on top. And had a man sent off for a second booking and simulation. I had the noise turned down. Obviously, as I was commentating on the live stream, but I would have loved to, have hear, to hear the Bramall Lane crowd on their thoughts on it. I'm sure they thought that was hard done by, by the ref, but I'm hearing from replays showing it was definite simulation. And the ref, for once, was strong and give us something the right way, like he should have done. It sends off the Sheffield United player like he should have done. After that, did Rout want to go for the win or didn't he? I heard as well from comments on the live stream that there were shouts for Gary, Gary, make a sub. And he did do. He brought on... Uh, Benneke Fobe and he brought on Matt Smith like for like with Bradshaw and Ojo but he also brought on Mason Bennett later on in the game and we did eventually start turning the wheel we was going for it again we had Bolkowski to thank for a brilliant save which he tipped over the bar there was chances at both ends as I said it was definitely value for money on the red button it was definitely entertainment and I said once again on the live stream we've never had a last minute winner why can't we ever have a last minute winner and Jake Cooper has been under some heavy fucking criticism lately and I'll say this about Cooper all the time. He plays everywhere other than centre-back. You see him marauding down the left wing, putting crosses in, getting involved. And he finds himself 25 yards out and a ball at his feet. And he finishes the goal like a top-class striker. Doesn't panic. Gets his head up. Outs his feet. Stick, sticks it straight. Sticks it true. Doesn't over it it. And it absolutely flies past the goalkeeper for Juicy Jake's second last minute Goal at Bramall Lane. It was even better than the last one. I wasn't there this time, of course. It was an equaliser last time at Bramall Lane when we was fighting against promotion under Neil Harris. But this time it's a winner and it's definitely given Gary Rowett a little bit more breathing space. Or does he even need breathing space? I don't know. But let me tell you this. As I said three or four times now, that was entertainment. It was a brilliant, brilliant night. A brilliant way to end it. The whole team celebrate. Bolkowski's up there. And we win at Bramall Lane on the road. Back-to-back -back away wins in Yorkshire. What's all the fucking fuss about? Fair play to the 448 fans that did travel. That one is for you. Absolutely fair play. And we go again on Saturday at home against Stoke. Maybe we should all fuck home games off and just start going... You know, 16,000 of us go to Huddersfield because the den is a problem. But when away from home, it definitely doesn't seem to me. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.